I want you to look at this. This vacant lot is where a San Antonio couple wanted to build their dream home. They made an offer on the listing. Trouble was, it wasn't for sale. It was actually a scam, and it's the type of fastest growing real estate fraud that is sweeping our country. 12 on your side's Marilyn Moore. It's explaining this dirty deal. This was it because it was over an acre, gorgeous area, level lot for a great price. When Josanna Quintanilla saw this corner lot in Helotus for sale for a quarter of a million dollars, she called the listing agent and made a cash offer. It seemed to be the perfect situation where he wanted a cash offer that closed quickly. Realtor Sarah Buheider said the seller had contacted her to market his land. He provided me all of the correct information that a typical seller, legitimate seller, would, would give you to list a property. All was good until she found a conflicting phone number for the property owner and called it. The voicemail voice that I heard was totally different than the phone number that I had been talking to. Turns out her client was an imposter. She texts me urgent. She said, I have some bad news. It's a fraud. And I told her, you've got to be kidding me. It's no joke. The Secret Service is warning of a sharp increase in vacant land scams. Easy targets. Who checks on their vacant lot on a regular basis? Thomas Cronkright works to prevent wire fraud. He says this one works like this. The bad guy searches public records to find vacant property free of liens. They would then impersonate the owner by creating credentials and typically an email that looks like it's in the name of the owner. They contact a listing agent and want a cash offer. At closing, they don't sign in person, but request a notary, which they also fake. The money is then wired to the scammer. It just, it's unfathomable just thinking that this could happen and nobody would know about it. The scheme may not be found out for weeks, leading to a potential legal mess. So how can you prevent this con job? I think it's a shared responsibility. I mean, this really deals with, do we know the customer that we're dealing with? Fortunately, Bu Heider was skeptical and stopped the sale. How close were you to losing a ton of money? I mean, to be halfway through a deal and know in two weeks, $200,000 could have been wired to the wrong person, absolute shocking. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.